press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, Nick here from technologic.com and today we are having this uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus with us. So this is the 6.2 inch device with the edge screens over here. So this video is regarding the intense test for the OTG that bought all kind of stuff. There's this OTG support which comes within the box itself. So this is the type C OTG as you can see. So I just plug this uh, inside the phone. After that, this is my USB 3.0 pen drive. I just inserted into it and let's see that whether it will detect it or not. It has detected my pen drive. It is giving me a color. Just go into the setting and as you can see that this is the USB SanDisk pen drive or 32 gig pen drive. And these are all the storage options and these are all the things which are inside the pen drive. As of now, the pen drive is blank. That's why it is showing like this. Else you can make it use further as well. Let's try to unmount it and let's try the mouse now. Uh, to unmount it, just go over here and click on unmount. So this is my normal mouse which is available in the market. I just keep it over here and let's try to insert it into the OTG port. So as you can see it has detected the mouse and it is showing that whether it is connected to Samsung DeX or not. Just click OK and it is working pretty well. I just try to put this box beneath it so that it works perfectly and as you can see it is working perfectly for me. And we can do swiping, we can go from up to down, we can go back by right click and any of things can be done using this mouse. Let's try to insert a keyboard now. So I'm not having the USB keyboard with me. So I'm trying to I'm trying to install a PS2 keyboard by using this uh, dongle, which is a converter of PS2 to USB mouse. So I just insert it over here. Let's see that I will be able to play or not. This is the PS2 port which you are seeing. So after inserting it, I think it is working. Let's try to type something. So as you can see, it is typing pretty well. So it is working pretty fine, keyboard is working using the, this PS2 adapter. I am not using any USB keyboard, this is a PS2 keyboard and I am working it with using an adapter. It is working in the phone, that means it is pretty good. Let's try a 1TB hard disk now. So this is my 1TB WD hard disk which is pretty old. The phone has detected the hard disk, as you can see this is the hard disk which is a WD hard disk. It is showing me to format it but I don't want to format it, I don't know why it is showing me that. I don't know why it is showing that it is a corrupted hard drive but uh, it is working in my laptop. Let's try to use some other adapter first. So I just use, try to use this uh, locally purchased adapter. It is also showing the corrupted WD USB drive, you need to fix it out. I don't know why it is showing that maybe some issue is going on in my hard drive but as you can see it has detected the hard drive and it will work perfectly for you maybe some issue is going on with my hard drive it is working in my pc but not in the phone let's try usb up the quantum usb up i have connected this one it has given me a light let's try to install a pen drive first so it has detected the pen drive this is a sandisk pen drive which i have already inserted before now this is the usb mouse which i am going to install in it so as you can see the mouse is also been detected by this thing now i'll let's try to install the keyboard in it so this is working pretty well i will try to install the hard drive which was not working which was showing corrupted but at least it will detect that whether i have installed a hard drive or not so this is the hard drive let's try to insert it over here so it has also detected my hard drive as you can see is showing corrupted wd hard drive so all the USB ports are working, mouse is connected, keyboard is connected, my WD hard disk is connected, my pen drive is also connected. I don't know whether it will support 7 port USB hub or not because I'm not having it. As of now, I'm having this 4 USB hub and it is working pretty well. You can connect any drive, you can connect any hard disk. So hope you guys like this video. This is the answer for all your question that what all things will be inserted by USB in S8 or S8 Plus. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this stuff, be sure to hit the like button and do comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and make sure to check out my other YouTube videos. So see you guys in my next video. Till then see ya and keep rocking.